What's going on, guys? So everybody that I run with has been asking, how the fuck do you do so much damage? That's the reaction. All right. Anyways, guys, Quantum is OP, but you can make it twice as OP. Pretty simple. Um, if you watch the cooldown, whenever I hit three powers, um, basically it's perfect timing with it exploding. And what I mean by that is if you watch, whenever it hits the cooldown timer, it's going to blow up. See, right there, perfect timing. So if you're running with another Quantum DPS and they're using the time tree and they're using the destabilization power, uh, or not power, excuse me, uh, PI, you're able to run off of their PI and that's going to leave you the ability to use four powers instead of three before your time bomb explodes. And that's going to give you all that extra damage with your time bomb and it is deadly. And so, I mean, a lot of times I'll start out with uh, Distortion Wave to get the PI on the, like if I'm fighting a boss, I'll start out with Time Bomb and Distortion Wave to make sure I have the PI. Then after that, no worries. Because if the other guy in the room isn't using uh, PI, then you're kind of fucked. So you got to make sure with his load, I kind of watch him, make sure he's using uh, a power interaction and he's not just using random powers with the Time Bomb because then you won't do any damage. So make sure you keep another guy, an eye on the other guy in the room. Let me show you what I use for my loadout and my tree and everything, and then we'll talk about uh, your skill points a little bit and uh, how I spec for this. But anyways, uh, time tree is pretty much all you're going to use. I have Tachyon Burst, uh, Temple Extortion, Time Shift, Anomaly, Warp Barrage, and then Temple Vortex. And I got Time Bomb, Tachyon Blast, and Distortion Wave. I do not have anything in here. It's pointless. don't need it. And then the Iconics, I'm able to, you know, I have a lot left. Uh... Weapon Expert, Tactical Genius. I don't know why I grabbed the Dom. Pretty pointless as a DPS. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon gives you a little bit of power. It gives you a little, a little bit of bite. You're going to keep more power and get more power back that way. Uh, just to help out with the raids, I use uh, Toughness and Health. Uh, excuse me, Defense. That's going to help with PvE. Toughness, PvP. Don't really need to worry about it for this loadout. Um, and then a little bit of extra health. Really not much, because if you get hit in the new stuff, 100 health, that's nothing, but why not? It was a free power point that I didn't need to use, so I threw it in there. All right, let's get to the loadout, uh, damage, tip of vortex. Holy fuck, does it hit hard. Yes, it does. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, War Barrage, basically what I have is I have three damage powers that go with Time Bomb. So I start out with Time Shift, and then I go into Attacking on Blast, and then I use War Barrage. And then Distortion Wave, not really here for damage. It does do a little bit, not a whole lot. But I use that for my PI. Um, and I don't really have anything else to say about the loadout, really. Just uh, these three, the time shift, the attacking on blast, and the warp barrage are what I use for my damage, like I said. And then this is my PI. But uh, the reason I have it set up like this is because I'm used to clipping X and circle. And so I go from time bomb to distortion wave as my PI. And I'm used to clipping square and triangle because they're right next to each other on the same, uh, same trigger. And these two are on the same trigger, so I, that's how I do that. And then this one's the last one I use, and it's the one, only one left by itself besides the supercharge. So that kind of makes sense how I use it that way. And if it feels good for you, that's how I would use it. But if it doesn't, you know, you could change it up, whatever order you want. Um, there's really no say on how you have to use it. But uh, that's pretty much it. I'll show you exactly how I do the rotation and everything after I talk about my skills. One of my skill points, you don't need weapon mastery at all. So what I do... Just go straight down, make sure you get all your crits and your crit attack chances, your crit damage. Just go straight down and get those. Make sure you get all those before you get your weapon masteries. Um, you want it, that's big thing in PvE, is to get all your crits. And then you see I had some left after uh, doing all my skill points. I just grabbed uh, the rest with the Western, uh, weapon mastery bonuses at the bottom that I could get. Um, so, that's pretty much it. Uh, just make sure you know you get all your crits. And then whatever you have left, if you have enough skill points, come down here and get the 25 my 25 precision. Um, 160, I, I need to put these in there, actually. I have two left. Uh, I just went from 158 to 160. Actually, I don't feel bad about that either. If you guys know, I've only been playing since last December. And 160 skill points in a year, not bad. I know guys that have been playing since day one that have like 150, 140. I know some that have 100, less than 100. So I don't feel too bad. Um, and then I'm not really, I'm actually going to go back rage, I think. Uh, just because uh, I feel lost without it. Um, <clears throat> but I have 100, 98, 100, 100, 97, uh, 97, 100, 97, 97, 97, 98, 100, 
97. And what you want to do, I have some precision and mites left. I'm probably going to keep those since I'm going back to rage. Um, but then the rest is all might. You don't really need the critical weapon attack chance, so you can just put straight might here. But you do want the ability attack chance because that's the attack chance for your power. So you want as many crits and crit chances as you can get. But anything that just gives you like uh, power or anything like that, you can uh, you can just put straight uh, straight might. So, but really the only thing you don't the only thing you don't need is this. Like you don't need the um, critical attack chance. So you can just throw throw straight power there, but or straight power straight might. Uh, but the rest of the stuff, you want these critical, well, you don't need this one. You can throw, three, uh, throw straight might in there, too, as well. But uh, I just, I try to get all my, it, I, I have, it's like I have uh, OCD. I can't, if I don't see the green, it, it just drives me nuts. So let's just get to the rotation and enough, enough jabbering. Um, but I'm going to show you the difference here, <clears throat> why I use somebody else's PI if I have another quantum. Because you'll, uh, just the damage is ridiculously different. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll do my normal rotation, time bomb, distortion wave, uh, attacking on burst, and blast. And then uh, there you go. It hits quite a bit of dots and it hits everything. It's an AoE burst. Um, hits really hard. Uh, you, a lot of times you'll see anywhere from 20. Well, sometimes you see like 11 to 12, maybe 14, 15. But other times it's mostly 20 and above. Uh, on one or two targets sometimes all of them if you get really lucky, but I have had on bosses and ads I have had up to Jesus when I did the video on bleeds when I when I basically one shot at bleeds it's like 200k So you get some really hard hits with this shit and it hits even harder if you're able to get all four powers off So take a look at it again with all with uh, everything in the loadout All right there's that. Now let's take a look at everything. Let's get the PI up just so we have the PI. Now let's take a look at it without using the PI and just using those four powers. Okay, as you can see, you get the extra ticks in there from a warp barrage that you do not get if you use it the other way because as you can see, just watch the timer on my time bomb. The timer is up before you get off the last power. It doesn't matter how quick you do it, there's nothing to clip, you can, none of these powers clip together, and so you can't shorten it up and use all the powers in your rotation. So unfortunately, you have to have another quantum DPS if you want to have the max potential damage. Um, you can clip with um, consumables, but there's nothing really that helps you out. I've tried everything, and this is the most I can come up with. I mean, it's obviously the best loadout I've came across, because nobody I've never been beaten. Uh, I ran with plenty of quantums in my league, plenty of quantums across, you know, open DC. Not even been touched, not even close. So, um, you guys use this loadout. Uh, don't feel free to copy it. I mean, don't feel bad if you copy it because I'm mean, it's here for you to use. So make sure you take advantage of it. Um, let's show you what the supercharge does. But I'm going to go over here so we don't have such a damage split and it's not as hard to see. Let's take a look at the supercharge and the supply drop. With the trinket active uh, and the rotation, I'll explain to you guys how uh, I do that. But first, I'll do it without everything. I'll just do it straight up with no supply drop or trinket. What you're going to do to get the PI with this, because it does give you a PI beam in the time tree, you do get the PI on the 25% supercharge for now. Will it be nerfed? I don't know. Should it be nerfed? Probably so, because that's one reason why I don't think I've ever been beaten, is because a lot of people don't use this loadout. I don't think a lot of people know about this loadout, because so many people watch Kaiser's loadout. Guys, I'm sorry. Kaiser's good. Yes, Kaiser's fun to watch, but he doesn't always, you know, he does a lot of loadouts on the test server. I don't know how much he actually plays with those powers because the test, servers, test server is not always active. And so it's not always efficient to just make a loadout with a new power that you haven't really tinkered with a whole lot. So I try to be the power for a while. I switch to it in the regular game, run with my league, run with my friends, and I test it in the watchtower um, and in the league hall a ton. So um, I have a lot of experience with these powers that I do loadouts with. So, and as you can see, I've put a lot of effort into it. So let's check out that supercharge. Um, you're going to do time bomb, distortion wave, get the PI, supercharge, and then finish out the rotation. And there you go, guys. Uh, Sporn targets, I had like, I had like four seventeen thousand crits on the Sporn targets at one time. And this is after they nerfed Quantum in the test server. Um, I have two supercharges left so let's do it one more time like this 
There you go. See the the crate on the middle was thirty six, two forty thousand crates on the outside. So it's forty, eighty, a hundred and uh, see. Jeez, hold on. I'm tired. Can't think. Eighty plus thirty. That's a hundred and ten. It's a hundred and ten k with one supercharge on the sparring targets. Now you see why I hit so hard on Blees. So can you imagine if you do that on a group of ads in a in a raid? That's ridiculous. That's like four hundred k probably on on ads because it's you get. You know, you get a nerf on the spawn targets because they have a lot more uh, defense than the regular ads do. So let's take a look at it again. This time we're going to do the supply drop and shrink it and get the extra buff from my baby Boo. Whew. Hit so hard, guys. So hard. If you don't use this loadout, you have issues. Like, <laughs> some serious issues. So that's it for the supercharge. Uh, use them all up. Let's take a look at just the regular rotation a couple times in full speed. Time bomb, distortion wave, and do two damage powers. Okay, now let's take a look at it a couple times more with uh, out the distortion wave. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop it first just to uh, get the PI, so I don't have another quantum here with me. Yep, as you can see, I'm getting a lot more ticks. They're hitting harder as well. So, I mean, it's the way to go, guys, if you have another quantum DPS. You can't really go any other way. Now let's show you the supercharge again in a little different way. I'm going to do distortion wave, then time bomb, then supercharge, then these other powers. There you go. And as you can see, if you do it that way, you also get more damage if you have somebody that is also quantum. You can hit a lot harder with the supercharge as well because you can get more powers off with the time bomb. So just remember, take your time, practice this loadout, um, practicing in lower raids, um, it's not it's not really that efficient if you're doing uh, like A and B or Nexus per se because in the hallways, probably not going to get the rotation off. Probably going to struggle a little bit there. So I'd recommend using like a uh, weapon mastery loadout or clipping with uh, like doing little this little clip here like in the hallways because um, you still you know they still hit fairly hard for being clipped like you can see over 2k and the the weapon mastery hits hard itself. I mean look at that everything's basically between a thousand and three thousand and when you get crits i've had 10k crits we're just just clipping this the hand blaster move so um there's no reason why you can't do this in smaller smaller instances where you gotta be quicker and do more damage but uh you know that's pretty much it i'm gonna run over here do it on a smaller one person or solo target real quick okay there's that get my pi up and then do the rotation all right, they're hitting all this crap around me. Okay, there we go. I um, mean, it hits fairly hard, hits lots of ads, hits, I mean, everything basically around you. Distortion wave hits everything around you. Um, when it explodes, it hits everything around you. So great power. Great damage, but uh, I am going to go back to Rage, guys. I know, probably a dumb idea because Rage sucks right now. And if anybody sees this, that works for frickin' DC, and I was going to say SOE, but SOE quit. They're done. They sold out to uh, Daybreak Game Company now. I think that's the name of it. Yeah, so Xbox fans, look forward to DC coming to Xbox hopefully sometime soon because I will be playing it on Xbox. I know that. So... Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped. Kind of one of my longest videos for DC, to be honest. But I wanted to be as detailed as I can about this because I know there's a lot of guys that had questions and I know there's a lot of guys that wanted to use this loadout and they weren't using it correctly. So I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.